One of the important scopes of asset liability management is management of liquidity risk. Measuring and managing liquidity needs are vital for effective operation of banks and financial institutions. In a bank, maturity terms of assets and liabilities generally will not match. This creates a liquidity gap. If the gap is positive, there will be no risk to the bank. However, there will be opportunity loss of excess funds being utilized for earning returns. On the other hand, if this gap is negative, it creates a risk to the bank. Banks compute maturity profile of assets and liabilities divided into different time buckets. The time buckets may be distributed into 1 to 90 days, 91 to 180 days, 181 to 270 days, 271 to 365 days, and over one year. Within each time bucket, there could be mismatches depending on cash inflows and outflows. Mismatches up to one year, that is, first four buckets, would be relevant since these provide early warning signals of impending liquidity problems. Banks monitor their cumulative mismatches, that is, cumulative net financial assets, across all time buckets by establishing internal prudential limits with the approval of Asset Liability Management Committee. In case of higher limits, approval of the Board of Directors may be required. Liquidity risk refers to the risk of the bank being unable to meet any of its obligations at any point of time. In the given example, the 91 to 180 days time bucket shows that there will be a liquidity shortfall, a liquidity gap. The bank will have to either raise funds from an external source before the end of the period or try to liquidate some of the assets falling under next bucket. Liquidity gap analysis helps a bank to manage liquidity risk as well as to plan for future investment. A negative liquidity gap means future fund raising is required whilst a positive gap means future investment is required. The costs of raising funds and returns from utilization of funds can be forecast by the term structure of assets and liabilities of a bank.